Okay, I'd like to welcome everybody. My name is Duncan Wood. I'm calling you from North Wales here in the UK. Uh, welcome if you're brand new and see, looking at this for the first time or if you're relatively new to this, welcome. Um, all I would say to you is keep an open mind, whatever experiences you've had in the past, be it good or bad, especially if it's bad, put it over the shelf, take some notes tonight, keep an open mind because I can honestly say uh, you have never seen anything quite like this. Um, this is unique, different, and unlike anything you've probably experienced in the past. So I really would pay attention, um, especially after the weekend. Uh, there's a lot of people very excited about what we've been involved in now for the last four months. So I'm going to hand you over to Tim Mandeville. Tim's over in Australia on the Gold Coast there. Um, Tim is very experienced in uh, not only Cloud 2.0 but also uh, in uh, crypto as well. So I'd like to welcome you. Welcome. Good, good morning, Tim. Thanks, Duncan. Thank you very much. Um, yes, and uh, welcome to all of you that are new. And for all of those who aren't new, I hope you have had the chance to see some of the multiple updates that have been going on over the weekend with the uh, launch party of all our new products and the Cloud2 app. Um, if you haven't, um, I've just posted now into the chat uh, a YouTube video, which is uh, Ronald running through everything that Cloud2 now has to offer. So uh, you all need to take a copy of that link uh, and, uh, and watch it afterwards because it will give you a really good uh, insight into just um, how much uh, you know we have now to offer people uh, uh, and where Cloud Token uh, is going and very rapidly. Um, I'm going to run through um, yes our Bitcoin took a tanking again last night. My other little joy is uh, trading crypto. Um, let me just get this up. Okay, so I'm going to run through uh, the Cloud2 uh, opportunity for you uh, all. Um, it'll give you a great idea of, um, yes, exactly what we have to offer now. Uh, it's way more than just the decentralized wallet. It's a place where you store your crypto. So those of you that have been involved in cryptocurrency, you'll be keeping your Bitcoin or alternate coins on an exchange or you keep them on a Trezor or a Ledger. And all of those options don't pay you uh, any form of daily or monthly interest to hold your coins with them. Uh, so Ronald developed uh, the cloud wallet to do that so you can store your own crypto on your own wallet and and receive um interest every single month for doing so all right uh plus a whole heap of other things um it's a place where you can exchange um your tokens for other tokens and also earn and spend the reward cloud tokens that are given out daily um let me just get on here now one of the most important things for anybody that's considering involving themselves into cryptocurrency is to have a set of rules. Um, the reason I have this now is because uh, I trade um, on the stock, stock markets, I trade on crypto exchanges, and I have a set of rules. Uh, and those rules enable me to run out my technical analysis. I have all my uh, graphs. I have my entry exit points, I do my risk reward, I do my staggered entry exits, all of that stuff to mitigate losses and maximize my gains when I enter a trade. And then I decide the leverage that I'm prepared to, to put on. Um, but when it came to investing in crypto, especially a couple of years ago when the rage was ICOs, I didn't have anything. I literally just threw my money at something and hoped that it would stick. Um, and 90% of the time, we all lost money. Everybody did. I don't know one person that was involved in anything in the last two years that hasn't lost some money of some sort. So I put a set of rules together that if you follow, the chances are whatever project you follow, if every single question that I'm going to show you now is answered, 
your project should have some form of longevity, you should recoup your seed money and you will make a profit, okay? So the first one, full visibility of the owners. That is massive, okay? If you're looking at a project and you have absolutely no idea who is behind it or where they are, I'm telling you now, 100% they'll steal your money at some point and you will not know who to go after to get it back, okay? The second one, full visibility of the tech team. You need to know the people that are behind the company that want the money or are trying to, to bring out a new opportunity for exactly the same reason as point one, okay? You need to understand what the project offering is, all right? How it's gonna be sold, how it's brought to market, what the investments are, etc. What does the project have that's gonna create mass adoption and guarantee its success? All right, again, huge things. Lots of different tag-ons into an ecosystem, that sort of stuff's gonna give you far better longevity. If you're investing in crypto, it's massively important that when you put, let's say, one Bitcoin into the opportunity, you should be able to see that Bitcoin on the blockchain. So there's no selling into a shit coin first to then hold on a project, okay? That has all finished two years ago with all the lending platforms that went around doing exactly that, okay? You must have visibility of your funds when you invest. And if you change your mind and want out, you should be able to remove those funds. You need to have the access to them or to remove them 24 seven, okay? Because there's no reason at all why people would want to keep your money unless they don't want to give it back to you. And you need access to remove the returns that you are receiving, preferably daily. Proven track record of everybody involved in the project. So they need to be visible. Social media is massive in today's world, okay? You have LinkedIn, you've got Facebook, Instagram, all of those main things. If the people that are in the project and the owners of the company don't have any of those, there is a reason, all right? They're probably lying about their names as well, okay? Value-added services and products. They need to be established or about to be that they're gonna generate additional revenues into the future. It's very hard in the crypto space to be reliant on a one trick pony, okay? They're my nine reasons, okay, of investing. And if I can get my answers to all of them, then the chances are the project's gonna succeed and it's definitely worth giving it some sort of a go, all right? But again, you never put in more than what you can afford to lose. So with that in mind, who is behind Cloud2? Well, Ronald I is our CTO, all right? He um, has public profiles on Facebook, uh, Instagram, I believe. I haven't actually looked on Instagram, but his main one is obviously LinkedIn. His complete career history over the last 25 years is fully detailed on LinkedIn. So you can see his experience um, in making mobile phones, in software within mobile phones, in payment gateway apps, all of the things that are integrated today into our cloud token, okay? One of the most, um, yeah, he's got a huge tech resume, like huge, all right? He won also last year the Innovative Blockchain Project of the Year, okay? Now, to give you guys some idea, when you launch a blockchain project, you do so through the WBF, the World Blockchain Forum. They have five main offices around the world in New York, Singapore, Shenzhen, uh, I think Dubai, and one other. I am can't remember the other one. And um, they have a wealth of experience and uh, investors willing or looking to find projects to invest in okay, that are gonna be launched. And Ronald, uh, with all of those uh, opportunities that came out, won the blockchain project of the year, okay? And he won it because he developed uh, a fourth generation blockchain called Ori, and it's his, and he's the only one to get it. So please, if you are reading out there that other people have fourth generation blockchain, they are lying to you. It's Ronald's. Ori belongs to Ronald, he gives it to absolutely no one else, okay? Um, so, fourth generation. Generation one is Bitcoin, 
okay? It launched in 2009. It is what I call a storage of wealth coin, okay? You cannot really transact with it on a day-to-day -day basis because of scalability issues. And those issues prevent it being put onto a MasterCard or a Visa because you would go down to the shop swipe for your cup of coffee and stand there for the best bit of an hour waiting for the transaction to be approved. So it's impractical to use on a daily basis. So they brought out generation two, which was uh, Ethereum. Um, and Ethereum uh, has uh, a set of smart contracts that it devised. So about 80% of the altcoins run on the Ethereum uh, ERC20 um, token contract. Um, and they also did something called SegWit, which is segregated witness, where it takes the proof of transaction or proof of work between two people out of the blockchain and stores it separately. And that enabled the network to increase to around 15 transactions per second. Again, totally useless for a day-to-day -day transactional coin. So generation three came out, um, which was EOS, Cardano, and Ripple, XRP, okay? And they can transact at a few thousand transactions per second, but definitely nowhere near where they need to be in order, again, to be a, a daily usable coin. All three of them suffer with the scalability issue. And the more people that use those networks, the slower the transactional speed to be able to do peer-to-peer -peer business between each other goes. All right, so it really is not very good. So Ronald thought outside of the square and he went, ding, don't carry on doing the same old bit of rubbish that's not working. Why don't we develop something that actually the more people that are going to use it, the faster it's going to go. That would make more logic, wouldn't it? And he developed fourth generation blockchain, which is called Ori. And every time you or I download the Cloud Token app, onto our phone, we act as a node on the network, okay? And it uses a minuscule amount of your phone memory to do it. And every thousand people that have the app on their phone enables us to transact at around 22 and a half thousand transactions per second, all right? We have over 900,000 downloads of the app now. So we're probably around 20 million transaction per second capability. All right, that's huge, massive. All right, to put it into context, Visa, MasterCard, they can, the most they can get to is around 650,000 transactions per second. So they look like a screaming baby in nappies compared to what Ronald has developed, okay? Miles apart now. The, as I said to you earlier, watch the video. All right, it will sh you will see where our project is going to go. We will be the largest mobile payment gateway and wallet in the world within three years. Okay, it took PayPal 15 to get to where they, where they are, and Visa and MasterCard 50 years. Okay, so watch how quickly we take over the dominance in this space. We've got high recognized or high level of recognized partners. All of these came out at the weekend. Some of you know, know about them. I'll go into them a little bit more at the end. Uh, we have a transparent team and offices in Malaysia, uh, in KL. They were all opened at the weekend as well. All right, we have a real roadmap. Most people that have invested in ICOs have a white paper and a squiggly line roadmap and nothing ever comes to fruition that's on it and you lose your money, okay? This is our roadmap. Everything that is on it is developed. Everything that is on it is, you know, out there, ready to be used, ready with our partners. The only thing that is missing is you, the mass adoption bit. We are not an ICO. We are not trying to raise money to do anything. We have it already. We just want you to bring your digital assets into our community so that we can use them and you will be paid for it. Okay, and you have access to those assets 24 seven if you want to take them out, okay? So we officially launched in May, uh, May the 12th in fact. Um, I got involved pre-launch. Uh, I was offered the project when it first came into being, which was the 16th of April. 
uh, I, I got involved properly and signed up on the 20th of April, okay, after doing all my due diligence with this. Um, so our wallet one, the Cloud Token Wallet one launched uh, in May. We had in June, Jarvis um, was updated with an algorithm called Varoom. Um, we do triangular arbitrage. That Nobody else has got that. Nobody else can do it except how Ronald has developed it. So it enables us to do triple pair trading through exchanges uh, looking for um, volume. That's we, we don't do the buy and sell trick. We are looking for volumes to increase. Uh, and the Varoom goes through the pair trading. We're on 32 exchanges with over 200 Jarvis bots. And it decides... What it's going to do on one exchange simultaneously converts it on another, etc., and that's how it it functions very well. Uh, in September, we have uh, our news channels. Uh, we have now the launch of Friday, which is our um, project for our the whales. Anybody that's got between three and five million dollars, uh, we have over four now, I believe. Four people have invested uh, as an initial investment for them. Uh, like between three and five million dollars into our opportunity. Okay, so you imagine the due diligence they've done before they put that sort of money into uh, a project. Um, our cloud token version two has just launched. It all went live. If you don't have the new app on your phone, please go to the App Store or Google Play and download it. Okay, our KL office and support opened. We had our massive party for 10,000 people. Uh, in KL. Um, our debit card payment uh, solution uh, was launched. This to me is the game changer. Okay, everybody has a MasterCard out there or a Visa card. And there's been quite a few crypto people that have managed to get very brief tie ups with MasterCard before they've been shut down. One of the game changer bits that Ronald has done, and you will listen to, to it on there, and it's going to come with our card, is that it's going to have an overdraft facility on it. And that overdraft is going to allow you to draw against the assets that you've got held in Jarvis. All right. So not only can you convert your cloud tokens onto it and go and spend them anywhere in the world, but you can also use your credit card as a borrowing source against assets and that is a first in the industry okay that's going to be huge for people that suddenly need to get some extra money somewhere have no ability to do it they can just unlock a facility to use whatever they have in jarvis at the time when it gets paid back they release the lock on jarvis so that you can then take your assets back out okay We've got a, a crypto to fiat solution. We've got our global e-commerce partners announced. So our Grab, okay, you can now convert cloud tokens into Grab, okay, and all the details are again on the Cloud2 app. Our data SIM cards are launched. Fantastic. Everybody got data SIMs, all right? They are, they are valid for seven days. So you, you get a data SIM, um, put it in your phone. You've got unlimited uh, data um, uh, through the uh, Wi-Fi network for seven days. Anywhere in the world, um, it's fantastic. And everybody was using it uh, at the, the weekend. Uh, we've also got Road Launch, okay? It's on your phone now. I joined it the second it went live and bought 10 blocks. Uh, you can do it through the DAI coin, uh, which is basically uh, like Tether, it's valid at a dollar each. So every block is $10 um, and you can get into road. There's more information about it in that link that I gave you. We've got our merchant network services coming, okay? Our point of sale machines coming all by December, all right? They had all the trial stuff there so that people could actually use their MasterCard debit card through the point of sale buy merchandise at the unit so they can see how the ecosystem of that works. All right, and we've got a growing global e-commerce partners. All right, we've got our holidays now. You can book over 400 hotels through the app on your Cloud Token app using Cloud Tokens, okay? So it's huge. It's a proper functioning ecosystem that's all up and running for us all. 
So the first element of this is earning our cloud token. The second element of it is spending your cloud tokens. Okay, that is sustainable. So how does the token work for us? Well, if you've got Bitcoin or crypto, you just transfer it into the super wallet. You select projects, you can now click Jarvis or Rogue, agree to the uh, terms and conditions, uh, and then you are in. You're basically then loaning the crypto to the Jarvis trading bots with full transparency. You have 24 seven access to them. If you want your money out, it takes 10 seconds. Swipe left, put your pin in, your 2FA, your money's out. Okay, 24 seven. Jarvis funds are being traded on 32 crypto exchanges. There are over 200 bots, okay? All the exchanges are fully insured against hackers breaking into them and taking those coins. Back in April, Binance got hacked, 5,000 Bitcoins, okay? And what they if or do, they have a contingency plan for that, an insurance plan where they take a percentage of the transactional fees, they buy Bitcoin with it, they stick it in the cold storage unit, and if ever they get hacked, they return those coins back to the people who got hacked through their exchange. And they are all function that way. And we are on those 32 exchanges that have that facility to ensure that none of us lose our assets if that happens on an exchange outside of our control. Jarvis trades daily with the balances of all of our crypto coins that we loan to it. That's in excess of 650 million US dollars, okay? Every day, that 650 million is making money. Between 60, or between 20 and 60 million a day is made. And that goes into our profit pool, okay? This is not a pay Peter by robbing Paul or waiting for new people to join in order to pay those from yesterday who joined, okay? 650 million trades, 60 million is made, that 60 million then gets paid out to us in our cloud token rewards every single day, 24 seven. There's not one person in this organization that has not received their money, not one, okay? You're gonna receive between six and 12% monthly bonus in cloud tokens. Again, that comes to you daily. Your price of the cloud token is derived from the amount of funds in the reserve pool or the profit pool multiplied by the number of cloud tokens in existence. All right, I haven't updated this slide, but we're now over 50 cents in a week. We've moved very significantly now that we are doing a um, very short time frame <laughs> scalp trading. Okay, it's very profitable when the bots get it right and the individuals doing it. And clearly they are getting it extremely right and we are having multiple uh, price increases in our token. So at the moment, if you've got tokens in there, you can cash them all out at 50 cents, okay? Now, income. What can you guys earn from it if you wanna bring people in and what can you earn from it yourself? Before I go through that, we're not financial advisors. The ideas presented are our experiences on how to profit in business. They are not financial advice, okay? We are not an investment company. We make no representations or guarantees of any income. I personally don't recommend that you outlay any money whatsoever if you cannot afford to lose it. I'm not telling you that you are gonna lose it, but if you are, have no money to invest, don't go pulling your rent money out to do it. Okay, don't rush into anything. Do your own research. This is massively important thing. But some people's idea of research are massively wrong, okay? I've talked you through so far a whole heap of information about who is behind our project, all the tie-ups we have with MasterCard and Grab, our fourth generation blockchain. These are all our business things that make our company function. You need to do research and make sure that they all exist, okay? Don't go onto YouTube and type, is cloud token a scam? That is not research. All you are gonna do is pay $2.50 to the YouTuber that's put that link on that will trash cloud token as much as he possibly can and then promote his opportunity to you, saying, why don't you look at this? This is solid, this is good. Okay, and that's how those things operate. We currently have 
57 cease and desist letters sent out from our lawyers to some of those bloggers because they are blatantly defaming our company and the people involved in it, okay? Everything I've told you exists. You need to go and check it before you enter into any relationship with us, okay? Myself or team members are not liable for any damages, expenses or losses that you can suffer from the information that I'm giving you now on this presentation. As with any business, your results may vary. They're gonna be based on your individual capacity, business experience, expertise, and level of desire. All right, there's no guarantees concerning the level of success you're gonna experience because it depends on your dedication, your design, your motivation to get out there and go and change your life, okay? How is it determined? We have something called tokenomics, the price of CTO, okay? It's a very simple formula. Jarvis trades the assets and it rewards the members with cloud token. The price is determined by the number of cloud token in circulation versus the asset earning created by Jarvis, all right? So number one is the cloud token in circulation. Number two, how many people withdraw their cloud tokens, which then lowers the price. So we've had price rise up, back down, back up again, as people cash out or they leave their money in and hold it to cash out at a higher level, okay? Also affecting the price now will be our travel program, the MasterCards, our VIP program, our data cards. All of those things create revenues and a chunk of those revenues go straight into our reserve pool that again is gonna to go to the price of the token going up, okay? So it's called tokenomics, that's how our ecosystem works. So, you put your money in, we start trading with it, okay? The profit goes into the reserve pool. We give you six to 12% per month if you're on your own. If you want to go out and share this opportunity with other people, the company is gonna give you a 100% match on your front line. So if you bring somebody in that puts one Bitcoin in, let's say that's $10,000, that person's gonna see $1,000 a month at 10% in cloud tokens, and the company will give you the same amount also, all right? On your second level, you're gonna get 50% match, and then on your third down to 21, 5%, all right? It's a lot of incentive in extra cloud tokens that you can use through our ecosystem and cash out into other crypto coins if you wanna go and share this. That is what will change your life. Okay, and you can put all of those straight now onto your MasterCard. Okay, so just put your cloud tokens on there. If you've got 10,000 cloud tokens, that will put a 5,000 US dollar uh, credit straight on your debit card and you can spend it any way you want in the world that accepts MasterCard, okay? Ask yourself this question. MasterCard is a multi-billion dollar company. All right, multi-billion dollar company. They have some very, very, very smart lawyers and people involved in that organization. They do not tie up with a scam outfit, okay? They don't. So just anybody that comes to you and says, Cloud's a scam or whatever, say, well, do you know about MasterCard? And they'll go, yes, multi-billion dollar companies do not sign up with scams. They don't. Grab. Billion dollar company does not sign up with a scam. Okay, all of these things are giving you massive confidence in what our company is and what Ronald has built because of the size of the organizations that are getting involved with us. Okay. Um, Jarvis and arbitrage. Okay, <coughs> how you benefit? Send the crypto into the wallet. You can see here, there's an amount here, 0.1053. You can go onto the Blockchain Explorer, put in your Bitcoin address, and you will see that you've got your Bitcoin in there. We are not running ghost wallets here, like Plus Token, okay? Everything is massively and fully transparent to you. You earn six to 12% every single month. You can withdraw and cancel at any time. Let me give you an example. Let's say you've got 20 grand in your Cloud Token wallet. That's two Bitcoin, okay? The account grows at 10% a month. That's gonna give you $2,000 a month. For those of you who haven't done crypto and you actually love your bank and you put 20 grand in your bank, your bank will actually give you $2,000 interest over 20 years, okay? 
you keep it in there and you'll get two grand in 20 years. We'll give it to you in one month. So where's the scam here? The banks are scamming all of you because they are trading with your money, doing exactly what we are, earning the same amount of money as we do, but they're having it all for their fat salaries and everything else that they do with it. Okay, and they're not giving it to you for using it. That's why you get so little. You will get for that 20 grand, that's $67 a day in cloud token. That's what 130 cloud tokens every single day at 50 cents. If they go to a dollar, those 130 have just doubled in value for you. Okay, so that was, yeah, 50 cents. That'll be about 4,000 cloud tokens a month. You get less tokens, obviously, as the price goes up. So the incentive for you guys is to hodl your cloud tokens while they are at a low price because they're also going up as well as you receiving the financial benefit. Further benefits of sharing, okay? We have a rank promotion. You become what is called a C1 once you have grown your team and have a volume underneath you of 200,000 US dollars. The company rewards you for that. On your level three down to 21, they will pay you an extra 5%. So that's your business in these levels doubling, okay? Once you have three people in your team or three legs doing 200,000, you become a C2, okay? I am a C2 now, all right? I have over a million US dollars underneath me and my team. So I get an extra 10% on my levels three to 21. Let me tell you, I, will tell, I receive an extra 600 cloud tokens every single day for this little element, just this bit. That's without the rest of it that's going on in my team. That's what these amounts are worth to you. That's 300 US dollars daily extra on top of what I normally get with all my team for my 100%, 50% and so on. You can change your life here. My C1s are already changing their life. Duncan, Tina, um, and Phil, they're already earning very, very good money. As a C2, I'm earning a lot. Well over a, a thousand US dollars a day and up to 4,000 US dollars a day. As a C3, once I have C2, three C2s in my business, you'll be earning over between 10 and 20,000 US dollars a day. Luigi has just gone to C4. He won an award. Um, he's the first person in our team to have earned over 1 million US dollars in five months, in just under five months. Okay, imagine, and that man was broke. His wife left him, he lost his job, he was absolutely penniless in April. He's a millionaire today. Five months of hard work. Okay, if he can do it, trust me, we can all do it. All right, all of us, we all have that capability. As a C4, I don't know what Luigi is going to be earning now. 50,000 plus US dollars every single day. C5s are earning over 100 grand a day. And that's all paid from our ecosystem, from the trading of the funds. None of it is coming from you or I or Luigi's or anybody else's assets. Okay? They're all there. That's what enables us to get these incomes. All right? It's a very, very well thought out program that Ronald wants to change all of our lives. That's why he has built this system. So they're the other levels, two, three, and four, and the C5s, okay? So there is a lot of money to go to. There is another option, well, not another option, but there's an incentive from Ronald. Anybody who's a C1 or C2 today that gets to C3 by the end of this month is gonna get an all expenses trip paid somewhere. He won't say where that is, but it's for the C3, C4s, and C5s, fully paid all your flights, accommodation, everything. It's gonna be a five day thing around Christmas time or early into the new year. All right, so I'm gonna absolutely work towards that if I can somehow. Um, all things are possible when you think they are. Um, how have we performed? Okay, so when we launched 30 cents, at the end of May, I think we were at 40, pretty much, yeah. End of June, we got up to 44 cents in July, 46. August, we got to 48. Then we went back down to 45. Now we're in uh, October, we are at 50. Okay, all of this 
you know, now our ecosystem is performing properly. This is what you are going to see all the time. Ups and downs in our price as people cash out when their tokens reach the level that they want to withdraw money to put into other opportunities that they're doing or buy a house, pay a mortgage, all of that sort of stuff. Okay. Hypothetical accumulations. All right. I love these 25,000 cloud tokens. Let's say we get to 10 bucks. You've got a quarter of a million US dollars. Okay. If we make 20, that's half a million, half a million US dollars. If you've got 25 cloud to 25,000 cloud tokens sat in your wallet as a C1, honestly, there isn't one C1 who doesn't get to C2 that hasn't got way more than that. All right. So once you get to C1, you'll be earning, well over 25,000 cloud tokens. Future growth. Let's say you get 200,000 cloud tokens, all right? And the price goes to 10 bucks. That's 2 million US dollars. That's nearly 3 million Australian. That's my house and mortgage paid. New cars, holidays, and money for the rest of my life, and I don't ever have to work again, ever. And I will have achieved that by the end of this year. So I've worked from April to now, and I've got my cloud tokens, okay? The price goes up and will continue. So if we get to 10, great. If we get to 20, even better. You know, there's massive, massive opportunities. Why the cloud token? Take yourselves back to if you were involved in network marketing, where you had to buy products, fill up your garage, sell them all out to your friends, and then repeat it every single month, okay? There's no packages to buy here. There's no membership fee. It's free to join. Download the app, it costs you nothing, okay? No monthly auto ships to pay either, so that your upline gets paid and you. No contract. Take your money out at any time, 24 seven. You earn passively without sharing. There's the first, okay? Who wants to stick their hand out and say they're sick and tired of sharing things with their friends and relatives? to be shot down in flames every time they do. Okay, now you don't. If you've got $1,000 or $500, go and buy some crypto, sit it in your wallet, see 10% every single month, and you've done nothing. You don't have to say anything to anyone. Okay, you're winning. Cloud token generates the revenues from our arbitrage trading and all the other things now that I've just gone through with you. Okay, the holiday program, the debit card, the credit card, the data sim, and the um point of sale merchandising okay and as i've said to you our tokenomics drive our price now at the celebration over the weekend as i've said we've launched a point of sale program we've launched a travel program other projects like rogue and friday were also launched the prepaid card the debit card i've told you the great things about that <coughs> excuse me and also what will be uh, coming in in the overdraft facility of that card. The SIM cards will also release and a lot more. Please watch that link, okay? It, it, it shows you everything. And for the lucky few that decided to uh, stay out there, uh, they've gone on to, uh, <coughs> excuse me, I'm dying, uh, to Redang now for three days. <coughs> excuse me, uh, I'm dying. Duncan, you'll have to take over. I need some order. <laughs> okay, thanks, Tim. Well, <laughs> brilliant uh, presentation as normal. Um, been a very exciting uh, weekend. I'm sure a lot of you have been uh, watching what's going on. We're waiting for a full update from Luigi, who was actually in the offices today. Um, but as Tim said, anybody that hasn't seen that um, explanation from Ronald, I really would recommend to go and watch it yourself. <sighs> and then make sure everybody in your team has watched it. Um, now, it is a questions and answers call, and I know a few people have got a few questions. We might not be able to answer them all right now, but we'll do our best because we are uh, waiting like everybody is for some of the more details uh, that have been uh, announced. So if anybody has any questions, please unmute yourself, or if you're too embarrassed to speak, uh, just type your um, question in the chat. Anybody want to kick it off? Do you want to tell people how big Grabby is compared to over in the West? 
That's a good question. I, I'm not quite sure. I know it's it's bigger than Ubu, Ubu isn't it? So I've heard. It, no. it is, yeah. And the, and the next tie up is going to be with the India um, one. Ronald Tutu. sort of hinted at that. Yeah, it's called Tutu. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But Grab is, Grab is the Asian version of Uber. Hopefully, everyone yeah, on the call knows how big Uber is. And, and who knows that we may be doing a tie up with Uber or whatever. Like, you know, the more we get involved with these companies, they then suddenly want to become involved with us. You know how it works. So, you know, they don't want to be left out then. So, I, yeah, watch this space. You know, he's got a team now of um, 57 engineers and a whole team of, of people that are looking after each of these projects to develop and grow them. Like, it, just listen to the that 50-minute YouTube video because he really does go into depth about some of the things that are planned uh, uh, and how it's all going to operate. And his next job is the customer services, which he admits is appalling. Um, so that is uh, being looked at and, uh, and dealt with. You know, you spoke about the uh, must about, about the prepaid card, Tim. I yeah. totally agree with you on, on the uh, the overdraft facility. I mean, there are people that will have tens of thousands of crypto that's in Jarvis right now, and that's yeah. going to be their limit. That's their overdraft limit. Who has a, an overdraft limit of tens of thousands? Yeah. And he point. said, no paperwork, no nothing. I don't, I don't care if you've been bankrupt. I don't care if you've got a shit credit rating. Irrelevant. Put 10,000 in Jarvis, I'll give you 10,000 overdraft on your card. Powerful. Very, very powerful. Every, every, everybody gets the card as well. Every single person gets that MasterCard. Yeah. That's, it's bank. massive for, for everybody. That's really, it's doing that to the banks in the, in the best way ever. Like, because why would you even go to the bank ever to get money or a loan or anything? Put, put your own money into cloud where it's safe away from the bank. And, and borrow against it. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> just a and quick still one. be rewarded for keeping it in there as well. Just a quick one. Dan asked on in the chat, can you get a, a link for the recording? Yes, Dan, as soon as this is finished, I will upload it onto YouTube. It might be later on tonight or first thing in the morning, but it will be posted out. Okay, anybody else, uh, anything anybody wants to ask? I know a few people have had uh, issues downloading the app. I don't think people with the iPhone have. It's, uh, it's mainly the um, Android. Android phones, yes. Yeah. Yeah. But I, I'm sure that, I don't know whether, did Ronald mention that on, the, uh, on that video, Tim? I haven't had a chance to listen to it fully. No, no. No, no okay. No. I'm sure just, there'll be an update one, on. If I may. Yeah. Who's that? Um, I had a guy that's um, downloaded the app, or, or trying to download the app, you, you, what you just said onto Android. Um, for some reason, it keeps coming up with, um, he, he can install the app, but when he goes to run it, it keeps coming up, um, the app failed. Uh, does anyone, do you know if anyone else has had that kind of thing happen to them? A, a few people have had that same issue, James. That's why I'm waiting for an update on it. I don't know whether okay. it's uh, just glitches on, on the app at the moment with it being brand new. I know as an example, if you go to, I can't remember which section it was, I keep clicking on and it just kicks me out of the app. Okay, I told him, just look, give, me a, give me a day or so, let me find out if something's wrong with the app or you know some, something that needs updating or something because it's brand new. Yeah. Uh, and that's how I left it, so okay, okay. Just I'd, imagine, I'd imagine then that the programmers are now gonna go through all the little bugs and clean them all up and we'll yeah. probably get loads yeah. of new updates over yeah. the next couple of days. No, I'm looking for an update so you can turn it darker. <laughs> <laughs> I can't see it very well, my eyesight, but okay. okay I, I think it's because of uh, the old phones. When you have an old phone and he's not up to date, maybe you can get some software. problems. Yeah, maybe. Uh, it's a Galaxy S7. I don't know how old that would be. It's a Galaxy S7. Oh, you need an S10. 9 or 10, I think, to run it. Is that, is that definite? Uh, ask Faith. She'll tell you. All right, I'll send a message to Faith and then she'll tell me. Okay. Oh, I'm pretty sure that it, you need a nine or a ten yeah. now. Tim, for, I'm going to I'm going to message you later as well. Okay. Yeah, that's yeah, fine. I saw, yeah, we'll I, saw, I saw some comments in some groups and 
the, most of the people that had uh, an old phone had some problems. So I, I guess it can be because of the old phones. Okay, thanks for that, Robert. Thanks for that. It's, uh, it's the software level of the old phone can't cope with the software development in the cloud app. So it, it, it can't function because the phone doesn't have the software to enable it to function. I guess this is a, a problem with Android, not uh, Android phones, not um, iPhones. Yeah. I've got a, 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 a 5S and it's quite an old phone, but I have it because it's small, uh, but it runs perfectly on that. So I guess it's just Android. Yeah? I think it is, yep. Yeah. Mm, okay. Tim, Tim, do you know something about the SIM card? It's only seven days, and after seven days, then... The ones that they gave out last for seven days at the, the um, uh, launch yesterday. Um, I haven't got the details yet on the general use for all of us to have the data SIM cards. I believe that it's going to work where you have like a $200 like bounty that you put into the data SIM. And that money gets used to trade or whatever, and it effectively um, gives you the credit to have unlimited data for forever or, or on the card. It's going to work that that sort of way. Oh, okay, thank you. Um, it, will but they, industry, it will be an industry disrupt, disruptor. It will save massive a fortune on their on their mobile phone bills. Yeah. Yeah. They, oh, they were all using the data sims. Uh, at the weekend. It's unlimited, unlimited data. I have a question. Hi, who's that? This is Leonard from Cleveland, Ohio. Hi, Leonard. How are you, mate? Very good. How's it going, Duncan? How's it going, Jim? Collins? Oh, Very well, thank you. Very good. So I am licking my chops regarding the same card. I know you probably as what you could. But uh, from the event yesterday, can you guys tell us anything about the performance of the SIM card? What are people saying? What I find you're you're breaking up a little bit. Didn't hear that? Yeah. I, I know. I know you said something about the SIM card. Yes. Uh, what are the responses uh, from people who were at the event? Who SIM card? Okay. Uh, I think I think what you said I think what you said, Leonard, is what what are the responses from people at the event who had the SIM card? Is that correct? Yeah. Um, uh, brilliant. Like I, I I had some on my downline. There. Let me just put everybody on mute everybody for a second. On mute. Actually, Tim, I think only you can do it. Oh no. Tim, have you muted everybody? No, I can't do it. I'm on YouTube. I'm on That's it. Okay. Yeah, so I, I had uh, Tina and Duncan there and they were using the data sim. So it, it, it now runs for seven days. It work, it, it functions for those seven days um, in any country. So they could go anywhere now. I think it's 30 countries around Europe. 11 round Asia, um, they're adding to it all the time. It'll, it'll be able to be used worldwide. Um, and yeah, that, it, it, it's yeah, a game changer, massive game changer. Um, I, you know, I just came back from my holiday, I got a $500 bill, even though I you know, had my $10 extension to run it abroad, I still got stuffed with all the data and other bits and pieces that they uh, they managed to do because your phone is unwittingly set up to download updates. So merrily unknown to you, you might be downloading 400 gig or something of Facebook updates and everything and all the updates for any of the apps on there automatically and they gobble up your data allowances. So having a SIM like this prevents all of that because it's unlimited. It doesn't matter what you do or where you use it, it works. Marjan's just put a message on. She has a Galaxy S5 and the app works fine. Uh, Gary says older app 5 phones will not support this. And uh, Dan says, sorry, he's got to go, but fantastic meeting. <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah, but I guess sometimes you have to, to, to update your phone. Yeah. 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 That's right. the key. The phone has to have the latest update on it as well. Okay. Duncan, is... oh. Hi, Shem. I have a question. Um, I have an iPhone and automatically uh, changed to the cloud 2.0, the new back office, yeah. the new app. Um, do I need to do anything when I go to cloud 2.0 on the app store and it says to upgrade? Is there any need to do it or is it all done automatically, completely? Uh, well, uh, I had the same, Sherm. My, mine updated okay. automatically. I didn't have to do it. So if it's on your okay. phone, you just put in your login number and PIN and, and no, send okay. Duncan and I your cloud tokens. <laughs> okay. Um, Sounds good. Yeah. Okay. I just wonder if I need to do something else because it seems to be working fine. There's a couple things like Rogue uh, doesn't open; it's just blank. So I'm, I'm assuming it's a lot of work being done. If, if you wait a little bit, it does. But I, I think that's um, the new app just um, settling in at the moment. But it does open because I, I thought that. I if, you, if you hang on, and it works because I've already bought blocks in it, so yeah. it works. Yeah, I heard you say that. I, mean, I want to investigate that and see why one should do that. <laughs> uh, it's, it's worth mentioning while we're uh, all on here, or most of us are on, um, if anybody has an account uh, slightly above 500, keep an eye on it with the price of Bitcoin dropping and really recommend to your people if they can afford it to top it up a bit. Uh, otherwise, exchange it for USDT. I wanted to ask you guys, you experts on Bitcoin, um, what do you think that the uh, Bitcoin's going to do? I know it's good to, going down, it's come oh, down it's quite a bit. Go down to zero, definitely, Nina. <laughs> <laughs> oh, don't panic. Come on, come on Tim, you're the expert. What do you reckon? I don't know, 6,300. That's my call. Put it this way, Nina, whatever it goes down to, it's likely, I'm not saying it's a guarantee, but it's likely to shoot up after that point. Yeah. We're going to follow along the trend. Yeah. Like is that if what we they break 7,400 is, is a key support level. If we go through that, we're going down to 68. If we break 6,800, we're going down to 63. So there's three massive levels of support that have got to be broken first. So okay i just see um, it as a, a buying opportunity yeah yeah at, at all of these levels because we will be going back up is that what they call the bull run when it goes yes. back up okay and the bear run at the moment the bears the bear run, yeah okay yeah. No, it's like uh, fiona from Thanks. scotland's just asked how did you pay for the blocks tim uh with my diet i i in fact, I've just tried to log in to show you and uh, the, the Rogue isn't available at the moment, but you just click on, um, it, it says like six, six hours remaining of this block and then you click on there and it goes, how many blocks do you want? And I've put 10 and it says 100 die and then you click confirm it and then it deducts, you know, 100 US dollars worth of cloud token to, to buy it. And I, I did that yesterday when the thing was on or the day before. And Van B's just uh, messaged, I purchased my video today with CTOs in two seconds. Highly recommend cloud. Great. Good to have you. Okay, well, um, thanks everybody. Great call tonight. Um, I've got a quick question. Sorry, Duncan. Yeah, fire away. On, on the new app, um, we can message people. Uh, am I right in thinking that we can message? Like I've got um, quite That's a few. Ca it's here. coming. Just let Ronald finish the okay. uh, cloud chat because what what cloud chat will do is yeah. enable you to do video links and everything straight through the entire organisation wow. of your group. Because I've got That's like travel so travel so that I just can't get hold of um, on the front level. So it's like you know, I need to get hold of them. You know. If yeah. I so it's it's just being tweaked, but it's okay. coming. Okay, thanks. Okay, exciting times. I don't know yeah, about very. you, but I can't sleep with what's going on. It's absolutely <laughs> amazing. Take this seriously. Uh, you don't come across many opportunities, and I'm talking about serious, good opportunities in your lifetime. So all I can say to everybody is do not mess around with this. 
uh, spend the next 90 days building your team, just yeah. call everybody. Because if you don't, somebody else is going to get them. Because everybody is going to hear about this soon. Everybody. Every, every single person on here has the ability to get to see one in 90 days. Everyone. Okay, you know, we did, Duncan did it, I've done it, Phil's done it. Everybody can do it in 90 days. Honestly, it's $200,000 under you. You just have to go it, and share it with people. It. <laughs> <laughs> okay, guys, thanks a lot, Tim. Thanks, everybody, That's for right. contributed. Um, the next call, just to remind you, is on Wednesday night, 10 p.m., and then Thursday morning, sorry, Thursday evening, 8 p.m. is the is the next one after that. Thanks very much, guys. Keep your eyes okay. peeled for all the updates. I know Luigi is going to do an update. I think it'll be probably tonight, late tonight, or yeah. tomorrow morning for most people. Thank you, Duncan. Thank you, Tim. See you later. See you later. Thanks, Thank you. Bye. 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 Bye.